What's up everybody? Uh, welcome back to another episode. Today, we're finally installing the rear wheel Woolwood kit. Um, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, I got the uh, rear coilovers and stub axles on there. That was a bit of a pain, but it's, it's finally on there. Um, this should just be a matter of uh, bolting the bracket onto the, to the housing, put the rotor in, and then throw this guy on. And that should pretty much do it. So it should be pretty quick. So I'm gonna just go ahead and jump on in. All right, so this is the reason why you test fit before you put everything along. So I mounted the rotor on here. Um, I guess one of these is not 100% straight, so I have to use the, have to bang it in. Uh, if it, everything's fine. Um, I have a record of installing stuff backwards, and I almost put this one. Uh, <laughs> I had to flip it over. So, anyways, this is the correct way that it goes. And then when I went to test it here, it fits here, but it doesn't fit there, which means this is the way it's got to go. <laughs> so now all I got to do is. Uh, Take the rotor back off, take the caliper off the bracket, put the bracket on here, then rotor, then this, and brake line. Go from here to here. That's pretty much it. So, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty straightforward and it bolted right up. <laughs> um, it's on there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take these off. I'm gonna try one of the wheels to see what kind of clearance or lack of or lack thereof I have with this setup. Um, on the front, which I'll show you momentarily, I got really, really, really probably no clearance. <laughs> Here, let me show you. Alright. So, this is the caliper, that's the wheel. You could probably fit one or two sheets of paper. It does not hit, but it's super duper duper close. So, I'm curious to see how the rear setup compares in regards to clearance uh, with these. Um, just, I guess, just for reference, these are uh, Koenig Rewinds uh, 15s. Um, probably gonna get some watts later on, but we'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna throw a wheel on there and see what kind of fit it. Right, let's do that. All right, so there it is. I got it installed. Um, it does have quite a bit of clearance. Um, it's a smaller a caliper and a smaller uh, rotor, so everything's good there. I can literally fit my finger in there, and it doesn't touch any of the spokes. It's 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 a perfect fit. Uh, no problems there in regards to clearance. The front, I might have to either get different wheels or a spacer or something. I don't know. That's a little too close for me. But um, yeah. So anyways, this. Uh, this rear Willwood um, actually has capability for the parking brake. Um, I'm not gonna install the other side right now, but I will use it as an example. I'm gonna go get the cable so you guys can see where it, it it's a dual function. I know some setups, you would have to put a smaller caliper on the other side for the parking brake or something like that. But uh, not this one, this one's an all-in-one, which I don't know, I think it looks better. Just Just one caliper there, one caliper there dual function works better so anyways I'm gonna go grab that uh, cable right now and I'll show you on the other caliper how it's gonna set up and how it squeezes the pads so let me go do that give me a sec all right so what's cool about this brake setup is that the rear calipers have the parking brake integrated into it um, this is the, the cable that they give uh, that's part of the kit 
So essentially heavy handbrake, once you yank on that, that linkage and other cable yanks on this guy, which then in turn yanks on both ends of the cable. Each end connects on the caliper. So once, once you squeeze on there, these guys are gonna squeeze like that, but it fell apart. And the, cal uh, the brake pads sit on there, there's the rotor in the middle. So it's gonna squeeze on the pads onto the rotor and basically lock everything up, uh, AKA parking brake. <laughs> so it's a neat little setup, uh, little four piston caliper with integrated parking brake. Uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, I don't have my parking brake in the car yet. I'm still working on the interior, so I, I can't install this yet, but very soon I will. I'll make sure I film it. But um, yeah, uh, so far this kit looks pretty good. Um, I can't wait to test it out once I hit the front and the back. Um, but yeah, that's gonna pretty much do it for this episode. Um, what do I have coming up next? I want to work on, I want to finish the rear. So I want to work on the diff, the mustache bar, then put the axles in there since I got everything there. And then just uh, wrap up the back. That way I can focus on the front, get the engine in, the cross member and all that, and just keep moving along with the build. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.